Listening for the Promise, the Weekly Devotional. Pentecost, 19th week after Pentecost, it's October 11, 2020. Friend, how did you get in here without a wedding garment? From Matthew 22, verse 12. Jesus' parable of the wedding feast seems like it will have a happy ending. But then there's an unexpected twist. The king in the story threw a wedding feast for his son and invited many noble guests. Each and every one of them had an excuse as to why they could make it. It's the only day I get to sleep in, some said. Others said, I don't like the kind of music they play at, the ba at that banquet hall. And still others remarked, I have no real excuse. I just don't want to know. In the face of mass rejection, the king sent his servants out to invite all manner of people from the street to come and to eat this fantastic, already prepared meal. What a treat. At this point, sounds like all's well that ends well, right? Well, wrong. One impromptu guest comes into the banquet, and he's not dressed in his wedding finest. This doesn't mean he has shorts and a t-shirt on. Rather, he wasn't prepared for a wedding party. We cannot expect that people off the street were dressed in fancy clothes. So something else must be going on here. The man's outfit, whatever that looked like, was a reflection of the heart that just wasn't into the party. He came on his own terms and not on the terms of the king. Those who come to Jesus on their own terms are not worthy of the kingdom. What can this possibly mean? To come to Jesus on one's own terms. This parable is a bit mysterious, to be sure, but perhaps it's pointing to each of us to assess our own motivations. Are we all in with Jesus? Or are we struggling to let go over everything in our life and give it over to the Lord? And the second one is the case. What would it take for us to be willing to put on that wedding garment? We know the power of the Holy Spirit is working in our lives and in the life of the world. Maybe we could ask the Spirit to fill us with a deeper love for Christ, a deeper commitment to His church, a deeper passion for the mission of God. I don't know about you, but when I think of this wedding feast, I think to myself, I sure want to be there, and I hope I'm wearing the right attire. I hope I have an attitude toward Christ that the Father finds pleasing. I don't want him to come over and boot me out of the party. May we all have an open heart for Christ. Amen. Used with permission from Soul Publishing.